MetaTrader 5 platform has up to 21 time frames. But what you see in the default is only nine time frames. So where are the other 12 time frames that can help you analyze and see what the market is doing at every point in time? So that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video so that you will know how you can bring out all the time frames in MetaTrader 5. In fact, this is what makes MetaTrader 5 very different from MetaTrader 4 because in MetaTrader 4, all you have is just nine time frames. But in MetaTrader 5, you have 21 time frames. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I release my future videos. So without further ado, let's get into MetaTrader 5. So I'll show you exactly how you can bring out all the time frames in MetaTrader 5 so that you can analyze your chart from a whole different perspective. So to bring out all the time frames, you come to this place where you have the time frames, okay? Then you right click on it. When you right click on it, you will see this pop up. Okay. Then you come to customize, click on customize. Here you have the selected buttons, the ones that are already available here. There is from one minute, you have one minute, five minutes down to monthly. These are the ones that are available right up here. Okay. Now these other ones are also available. You can include them. All right, so you have two minutes. So if I want to include my two minutes, I can just click on it and insert. All right, so uh, when you insert, depending on where the cursor is at that time, that is where it will be inserted. So let me give an example. Here is two minutes time frame. If I insert right away, it will be around this monthly to just be above this monthly. So let me do it. So you can see that the two minutes is already here above the monthly and right here in the upper menu here, you can see the two minutes. So I will remove it. I'll click on remove. So it's back to the available uh, options. So for me to bring them all in, in order. So I will start with this, like I would like my two minutes to be above the five minutes. So I'll click on the five minutes, then click on the two minutes and insert. So right there, it is just above five minutes. So for me to include three minutes, I'll click on the five minutes and click on three minutes insert. So it's already there. Then four minutes, I'll click on the five minutes, then four minutes insert. So with that, I'm having it in orderly form. It's been arranged in ascending order. Okay. So to put my six minutes right now, six minutes should be um, above the 15 minutes. So I'll click 15, then click on my six minutes insert. Then uh, 10 minutes should also be above the 15 minutes. So 10 minutes insert. So um, 12 minutes should be above the 15 minutes too. So I'll click 15 minutes, 12 minutes insert. Then um, 20 minutes should be above the 30 minutes. So I'll click 30 minutes, 20 minutes, insert. Then two hours should be above the four hours. So I'll click four hours, then two hours, insert. Then um, three hours should be above the four hours still. So I'll click on four hours, then three hours, insert. All right, six hours should be above the daily. So I'll click on daily, six hours, insert. Then uh, eight hours should be still above the daily. So I'll click daily, eight hours, insert. Then um, finally, we have 12 hours left. So it should still be above the daily. So I'll click on daily, then 12 hours, insert so right now we've inserted all the time frames that are here the available one is now empty so we are not having any other available button and when you look at this upper menu everything is right here at this upper menu right now so we will now have 21 time frames which you can analyze from 
so if you want to rearrange them in any other you can use this up and down button let's say i want this two hour uh, this 12 hours to move up i use up so it has gone up above the eight hours if i want it to come down then i'll click down so it will come down if i want to reset when i click on reset everything goes back to the default as it was so when i close this this way i now have all my time frames and i can analyze from different time frames like six hours so you have uh, chfs jpy or six hours so want to see how it comes out all right you can see how it comes out so you now have 12 hours also you can have um uh, eight hours all right you can have um two hours so that is exactly how you add all the time frames that are available in metatrader 5 and that makes you have a vast view of the charts from different perspective i hope this video helps thank you for watching ensure you subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out when i release my future videos